Welcome to our fourth day of our 10 minutes of flamenco a day challenge. Today we're going over turns. Now they're very challenging because they can be challenging, right? Every, it's hard to whip yourself around and stay balanced. So the three things that you need um, for strong turns are one, arm placement. And you remember your arms are there to help you. Okay, so your arms always need to be rounded rounded so never chicken arms like this no chicken arms always back and no matter where you are in your turn your arms are still going to be there to help you so you don't ever collapse your arms the next thing would be um, body placement or the core you want to be able to contract the core as you're turning so you don't want to open up your chest or op splay open your back you want to keep everything contained here as you turn. So you want to think the rib cage down and belly button to the spine. The last thing you need um, is spotting. And spotting just means that you are looking at yourself in the mirror as much as you can, and you turn your head, and then as you turn, you whip your head around again to see yourself. So you don't ever want to keep your head in place as you turn. You want to try to look at yourself, and then whip your whip your around your head again. <laughs> so to practice that, if it's if this is new for you, you want to just cross. And as you unwind, you look at yourself, and look at yourself again. And then you want to practice on the other direction. Um, sometimes we favor one side. I tend to favor my right side, but I still want to practice that left side just for balance. So you want to cross your right over your left, look, and look again and look, and look again. All right, so those are just the, those are the three components of a good turn. So what we'll do is we're actually going to um, use our marking that we did um, on the second day of the side step, and that's gonna help set us up for our turn. We'll start off with the this time, keep it slow, and then we'll speed it up with tangos afterwards, okay? So we have um, our first, for Dientos, we're going to have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, again, so you have that side step of right, hold, back, step, left, hold, back, step, and then to set yourself up for the turn, you have right, left, and then your arms are getting, setting yourself up to turn, by, so you put your arms towards the left, okay? So that would be right, left, and one, two, and then you're gonna turn on the left towards the right. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, and then we repeat it on the left. So again, that turn was right, left, right, left, turn, and hold, um, up. And then on the left side, we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, left, right. So now I'm going left, right. The right leg is slightly in front, the arms are going towards the right, and so I'm stepping on the right. I'm going to turn towards the left on the right. <laughs> All right, so we have left, right, turn on the right towards the left, and then golpe, and we repeat. So again, on the left side, we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, right, left, turn, hold, hold, left, right. All right, so let's try that. If at, um, we'll start off with tientos and then we'll go on to tangos. If at any point you start getting dizzy and you need to rest, that's okay, just skip a compas and then join me up on the other side. All right, let's go. Right, left, turn, 
Okay.